Welcome back to Idea Usher, your go-to place for tech and innovation. My name is Abhay Mohan and I'm here to present you a stock trading app similar to the Robinhood app that our team has tirelessly worked on for our valued clients. It is an app that the user can utilize to manage their stocks, whether it be for purchasing new shares or selling, exchanging the shares that they own for other publicly accessible shares. So let's get started. When the user first downloads the app, they'll be greeted with this splash screen, after which the user can then see a small overview of what the app has to offer. The user can choose to skip this or hit next, and finally head to the login page. New users will have to create an account by filling in their details. Fill in your name, email address, choose a password, and don't forget to tick the box that says Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. After entering their details, they can create an account. If the user already has an existing account, they can choose to sign in, where they can enter their email address and password and then log in. In case the user has forgotten their password, they can hit the Forgot Password button where they can enter their phone number to which they'll be sent a one-time password. After retrieving their one-time password, they can enter it and hit Verify, after which they'll be asked to change their password, with which they can then log in. Enter your email and password and hit Log in. The user will be asked to enter a PIN number, after which they'll be taken to the home screen. In the home screen, the user will be greeted by the app warmly. Here, the user can see a number of details, including the stock gains or losses for a certain time period, which the user can change between a day, a week, a month, etc. The user can also see a brief overview of their portfolio, of all the stocks they own and in which companies, they can also see a watch list of all the companies that they choose to track to see whether those companies are facing downward or upward trends in their stock market. Say the user clicks on any company, they can then see a brief overview of that company, its name, its stock chart, a summary of that company and the live trading section. In the stock chart, the user can see the shares that they own and the value of those shares. In the chart, the user can see the rising or reducing values of those shares over a certain time period, which can range from a day to a week, a month, a year, or a period of five years. If the user wishes to purchase more shares, they can hit the Buy button. Here, they can choose an amount and hit Buy. Hit continue once the user is satisfied with their payment method. Hit continue again, and then they'll be taken to the confirm order section, where they can see the total value of the shares that they wish to purchase, the stocks they're buying from, the payment method, and all payment details, including funding source, the value of the shares they wish to purchase, the approximate number of shares that value is equivalent to, and any fees that the user may incur. Hit confirm, and the transaction will complete. Now the user can choose to go back to their portfolio or the home screen. In the portfolio, the user can see all the stocks that they own across all their different companies that they've purchased from. Here, the user can see the total portfolio balance and all the shares they own in the individual companies. If the user wishes to exchange their existing stock with other stock, they can go here. Here, the user can select the shares they own from the list that opens up. And over here, the user can select the shares which they wish to exchange their shares with. After the user is satisfied with their selections, they can choose Buy. Then they can repeat the purchase process. Continue, confirm, and the transaction will complete. If the user wishes to view their order transaction history, they can go here. In the first tab, the user can see any recent orders they've made. In the History tab, they can view their entire transaction history, on which dates, how much they've purchased, and from which companies. If the user wishes to select a specific date, they can head to the calendar. Here, the user can select specific dates and see what they've purchased on those dates. Then the user can view their profile section here. The user can see their picture, name, and email address. They can choose to edit these as well can enter a new picture, change their name, email address, choose to change their password, hit save. The user can get a referral code here with which they can share with their friends or family 
if they wish to encourage them to get this app as well. The user can choose to change their default payment options here. The user can select from a number of languages over here. Then the user can head to the settings page to configure the app to suit their needs. Here, the user can change the notification settings. They can choose to rate the app. They can choose to contact the app team directly. They can choose to switch on or off fingerprint and facial ID. They can view the privacy policy here and any legal documentation here. Finally, once the user is finished with the app, they can choose to log out. There is also a frequently asked questions section. If they have any queries, they can head here. Here, the user can see the top rated questions that other users have found the most useful here. If there is a query here that the user doesn't have answered, they can head here and message the support team directly. And there you have it. If you found this video useful, Feel free to contact us to develop your own app solution. We'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.